History Month is coming to an end, and Brittany is wrapping up this morning with a truly inspirational man from right here in Chicago. Brittany. That's right. So, for many young men in underserved parts of Chicago, the only future they see for themselves is through sports, music, or even crime. But one doctor from the South Side is trying to change that outlook and teach young people from his experience that they can fly as high as they dream. Meet Dr. Pierre Johnson. Dr. Johnson, tell me, what was life like growing up for you on the south side of Chicago? Um, life was difficult, but um, it was fulfilling in the fact that I knew exactly what I wanted to do at an early age. So despite all of the things that were going around me, drugs, gang violence, and those things, um, I always knew what I wanted to do. My aunt uh, had challenged me early when I was five or six years old uh, to, to choose an alternative plan other than playing professional sports. So I said I wanted to be a doctor, and that was just from watching TV and watching the Cosby show. Um, but the moment that I knew that I wanted to be an OBGYN is when my mom was pregnant with my little brother, and that was around nine years old. Pierre's journey led him to Xavier University, where he would meet Max and Joe, and that meeting would change his life. Going into Xavier, um, I knew I wanted to be a doctor, but coming from the south side of Chicago, I was very underprepared for what I wanted to do. So as I, you know, got into school, I realized that, you know, it was just overwhelming. And for the first time in my life, I found myself doing very poorly um, in school. And the more I studied, the worse it got. So when I found uh, my brothers, uh, Dr. Madeira, and Dr. Simi, and Max and Joe, uh, I just, you know, it was it was organic because they were all going through. They were both. Going Going through the same thing that I was going through. They came from similar backgrounds that I came from, but the, the common denominator was is that we all had a burning desire to become physicians and to get through whatever obstacle and hurdle. Any of us uh, had faltered, or if we you know we fell off our path, that we were going to, to push each other no matter what. Mm -hmm. And we made that we made that pledge to each other um, very early on, and it still holds true to this day. The three decided to share their story in their book, The Paul of perseverance. The book is not just for, for young men, but it's also for young women, and it's also for, so for educators, it's for counselors, and it's just an insight to the life of kids that come from these underprivileged uh, backgrounds, and it just shows what they have to go through to make it, and it also, more importantly, shows the tools that they will need to get past these hurdles and obstacles that they have to come to. You know, our motive and our, you know, what our, what our movement is, is to change the negative stereotypical um, narrative of the young black male and we do that by just being us you know and just you know the whole what is a doctor and how does a doctor look or what have you it doesn't look like me and that's the problem is is that that's the stereotypical thought process of our country mm -hmm. and we want to change that narrative we want to change that thought process and the book is just a springboard to get some of the other initiatives that we have we have a monthly scholarship from our not-for-profit that we give out um, we're also trying to implement um, things in curriculums uh, for uh, kids to not just show them that you can do it, mm -hmm. but show them how to do it, because there is a formula to success for these kids, and that's what we want to, to put out there. The book, again, is called The Pulse of Perseverance. You can pick it up at Amazon or thepulseofp3.com. And again, so Pierre and Dr. Joe, they're both OBGYNs, and Max is a cardiothoracic anesthesiologist. Wow. The three of them credit their friendship of getting them through medical That's school, awesome. and they really it. want to give back to their own communities mm -hmm. to show them that there is a way out. It's going to be tough. But there is a way out, Sacrifice. and they just want to be that. Perfect yeah, examples, that light. aren't they? They are. Yeah, they really are. Nice. Great young men. Yeah. Thanks, Brittany. Nice.